everybody good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Go the noise in the background, folks, is we're at the activity of police activities today over at Haskell Community Center. We just started our program and we've got a, a board meeting here, which I'm very Three steps back. Paul's giving us all kind of direction here. There we go. We are uh, here right now in an active board meeting. They're discussing uh, board policies and procedures and such. We've stolen Jesse away from that meeting. Jesse Carpenter, Officer Jesse Carpenter, is just a fantastic leader over here. The, the program's growing. Uh, the kids have got outstanding things that are happening to them through the highly structured program over here. Good values, good morals. Uh, just a, a great program that really provides excellent opportunities for youth to grow into fine young ladies and young men. Jesse, I've been bragging about you, but really it's, it's absolutely the truth. How you doing, buddy? Oh, tell doing folks uh, tell folks anything you want to for the next couple of minutes. So here's the mic, that's the camera, so there you go. Uh, here at the Flint Place Activities League, we are uh, enjoying our uh, full year of uh, the after school program and we just want kids that are not involved in anything else. If there's an old flow of kids, just refer them to us. We'll, we'll, we'll take them, we'll groom them, we'll get them into nice young ladies and men in our community, productive citizens. And we just want to say that, you know, it's not an individual effort, it's a community effort. And such as I'm sitting, talking with Mr. Winsloff, he has his own program, but if there's an overflow, he doesn't mind bringing his kids on over to us. We work well together with other community partners. And we also have an event tomorrow at Macy's, beginning at 4 p.m. You don't mean the mall, do you? At Macy's and the Tell mall. us about that, okay? Oh, there's a fashion show. Beautiful models, beautiful things going on. And we will be... Speaking of beautiful models, there's <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Ellen right there. <laughs> and it's an event for our summer programming. And it's thirty-five dollars a ticket, but that includes your your hors d'oeuvres, uh, social hour, everything, and then you get a coupon as well to shop. To shop. That makes you get a discount. Then? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, the Rollick Group uh, has come to us, and they've been very uh, forthgiving on putting this together on behalf of the Haskell Youth Center and, and Flint Powell to to make sure that our summer programming uh, goes on. And we hope to see y'all. Okay. Now this is a fundraiser. It's through a fundraiser. At, at Macy's. Where is it going to be? In the, the second floor. Court? Second, second, second floor Macy's. Floor, then. In the center court, yes. I'm guessing. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. And it's a fashion show more than anything or a variety of other things? Social hour like? and fashion show. We want the community and our community leaders to get to go each other. The mayor will be there. and. Uh, we're just gonna. It's a big blowout. Okay. We look forward to having. It. Okay. And you're gonna be there all dressed up. I will up be there in a tux, no doubt. Yes, sir. <laughs> he might be. Now, he, he might, might not be, be in a tux, but I'll, I'll, I'll have a little swagger going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jess, again, with all seriousness, I know I'm on your board, but I wouldn't have to be to say these things. You, what's going on here is first class. There's no doubt about it. The city of Flint is very fortunate to have you in charge, number one. The outstanding support of Chief Tolbert, who happens to be here today as well and serving on the board. Exactly. And, and uh, the schools and such are working with you in a cooperative way because we're focusing on youth. The better the youth are, the stronger our future will be, and you're playing a major role in that. And we clearly thank you and commend you, my friend. And I thank you, and I thank the board members and everybody involved who's giving me that support and, and allowing me to do the, the, the job in which the manner that I'm able to do. Excellent. What a, what a great partnership. Thank and you. A continued success, my friend. Yeah. Thank you. We'll thank call you. maybe another board member, too. Huh? Okay. Is Paul out recruiting for me? Yeah. Paul, how you doing today? You're looking Man. mighty, mighty good with you your know, beret on. Here. I'm getting excited about Juneteenth. That's get, always get it. Can get I come talk? Can I tell oh, you all about it? Tell you. Am I going to hear Juneteenth? It's only April. Why well, are you talking about talk. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. we got to get this young lady to okay. here. Right. But I want to tell everybody, you know what we decided to do? I had the, uh, at the, camera. the citywide <laughs> church outreach uh, meet and greet okay. that we've been uh, doing the last couple of years. We decided to make it absolutely free. Oh, we were charging for the sites and the tents and the tables. Yeah, and we just figured, listen, if you guys come with your own stuff, we'll find a space for you. We'd rather have a hundred churches down there, you know, for people to peruse than ten. 
So the object I mean, is to get as numbers, many as possible. Numbers, yeah, numbers, numbers. It's, about, it's yeah. about the numbers. So if they want to come bring a table and a chair and set up, we're going to let them. We just got to know that they're coming. Okay. All right. So that's new for this year's That is indeed. There you go. And that's, that's progress. Way to go. And of course, I was going to try to get International Academy of Flint to uh, field a dodgeball team for urban family dodgeball on Kersley Street. But Art's kind of wimping out on that. Maybe, maybe we could do it with some of our alumni. You think so? You think the last time we were should be staff it. against kids. That, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Seniors against the administration. Let's get a sign-up sheet going. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I got. We'll, we'll play Mrs. O'Toole's Knitting School. How nice. That? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the senior center. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Or, uh, 90 <laughs> plus. Listen, if you guys want to get involved with this year's Juneteenth celebration, it's going to be fabulous. June 16th through the 21st. You can always give me a call at 239-2901. That's 239-2901. We also have a Facebook page. This is a Juneteenth celebration, and uh, man, we're just looking for a great participation. Okay, three days this year, right? Five days almost. Between the 16th, the 16th, the 18th, oh. 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. So that's five and days. And the parade, I know, is going to start so at... Uh, on the 19th, and we're going to be at Kettering University. We're starting at Kettering University. So you'll come down University Ave right to the, exactly. to the waterfront. Yep. And that's definitely new. All right, very good. Thank you, my friend. You're Thank welcome. you, Paul. Always a pleasure to give you and your partner a little... Well, well, he's back there's again, a, folks. Um, there's a petition online um, for uh, getting Juneteenth made a national day of recognition. Not a national holiday. We don't want to have it a paid holiday. But we want a day of recognition. So if your listeners can go to the Internet and sign up on that uh, petition, man, it'd be great. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think now, so. They just hit, what do they do? Just <coughs> I'm going to have the address before the show's okay, over. For you. Okay, yeah. very good. Calvin, do you want to come up and say something, you big rascal? How you doing? <laughs> yes, yes, Ladies and gentlemen, it. this is used to be called the Police Athletic League, now changed to Police Activities League. And speaking of athletes, we got one in. I'm holding out to him right now. This big guy right here was a great, great, absolutely nationally ranked runner. That's your history, but he's now on the Police Activities League board, and he also does physical training in some gyms here in the Flint area. Calvin, tell us maybe what you're doing personally a little bit. That'd be good because you're such a well-known athlete, both in Flint and actually internationally. And then maybe a little chat or two about the board, any way you want to wind up together. Good. Radio, TV, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Actually, come on, Chief, it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> I sit on the board here at Flint Pale. I'm a, um, I've been an athlete for so many years and also work in the community. I also work at Prowl's Gym as a personal trainer nutritionist. So that's why I get my phone at. But it's an honor to get on the board here to work with yes, some great people and to uh, help the youth around here. We are, we're trying to get things back to what it used to be when I was growing up with more of sports education and just a fellowship of the people from the community centers. Uh, the school ran the, the whole city years ago. Now we need to get back to that because kids are finding other avenues to do and other things to do and not participate in sports and participate in the fine arts and things that we have for they have to offer so many great things. But we need everyone help to either volunteer, some people on the board, with checks, uh, donations, anything you can to help this to go forward because uh, Jesse and the guys here are doing a great job. And with Art being on the board here too, hey, we got wonders now. We can do so many things, but we need everybody participation so I will continue to be around to give seminars on uh, nutrition, weight training, weight loss, weight gain and to just better yourself in the process of being a better person in the community and also for so that to, to everyone else at your churches, your playgrounds, your schools, your recreation areas, your car washes, anywhere you may be, you know, you can share this information. If you see me walking around town or driving in the car wash, please stop me and ask me questions. I'll be for sure to give them to you if I have them. If I don't have them, then I'll find them. I, I, I was interrupted by the chief very gladly, by the way. Where do you work out at in terms of where you do your training? You uh, mentioned the folks. Mainly at Powerhouse Gym on Miller Road, right next to Golden Corral. But yep. I also go to community centers, I go to um, apartment complexes, I go to churches, I go to parks, I go to every state. Anywhere you guys want to have a uh, workout program, I'll be there. Okay. Are you allowed to give your phone number here? Yes. You want to do that? Yes. Go right ahead. Yeah, my phone number is 810-399-4572. That's 810-399-4572. And you just give me a call and I'll answer the call and we can set up something and maybe um, discuss what I do. Okay, excellent. Yes, and I'll, uh, thank you, Calvin. I appreciate that. Thank you, Art. I'll take the mic back just for a moment. And again, shake your hand, thanking you for the things you do, not just here with the activities, but 
you're creating a healthy flint. You're helping contribute to a healthy flint with all the training you're doing for folks. Oh, hey, did you brag about this? No, no, I didn't. Give a couple of your honors as far as a runner. Go ahead, please. Okay, well, I, um, I ran at the WCC, which is, I still hold the record for the two more rights of flint, no other than I hold the record of seven of them. I know, Jess, I know, and that's exactly how you feel. It's not about you, but I think I wanted to, what I wanted folks to hear was, you know, you're just, you're just not a backyard athlete. You've been there. You've been with the big stuff. So you have that experience, knowledge, understanding, and technique to lead folks in the right direction. Right, right. Very good, my friend. The Thank you, Art. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, indeed. Well, Thank you, Chair. We, let's take a quick break. We'll get Mark on. Mark, come on on. Uh, Mark is our chairman for this Police Activities League. And while Mark's coming, I'll talk a little bit about International Academy of Flint. Mark, how you doing, buddy? Glad to see you here, my friend. Glad to see you here. i got to do a commercial here, kind of. Do a commercial. Okay, everybody knows, I think, International Academy is on South Saginaw. If you call any time if you'd like to. 605,000 is that number. 605,000. We had a very successful... Uh, Jesse's coming through again. It's okay. We're in a very narrow hallway here. Um, we had a very successful kindergarten roundup. We welcome you folks to want to come. I mean, it doesn't mean we are stopping and rolling. We sure can do that all the time. So please do come by. We've got a big career night coming up this Thursday at 5.30. Mark, Mark's going to be there representing juvenile probation. probation. Okay. Juvenile as, probation. As a career. Okay. As a career. Because you're on our survey that we did with kids. That was checked more times than I thought. There's sincere interest in there. <laughs> So they want to hear from you. They don't know it's you yet, but they will know it's you Thursday night between 5.30 and 7. This program is conducted by the International Academy of Flint, but open to anybody. Open to any, anybody. Just come on in. You're going to have, a, we'll have 50 careers there, 12 or 13 colleges, and some food is coming in. Jimmy John's is here. Boom! There they are. All right. All right. So come on and buy, please. International Academy, 5.30 to 7 o'clock. We'll have about 40, 50 careers or so there with colleges. And uh, the kids who prefer grades 8 through 12, but if you want as a family come, that certainly is okay. We'll have, uh, every 15 minutes, we're going to have a door prize, and we won't talk much about that at the moment. But please do come by, open to anybody that comes, not just International Academy of Flint students, open to the whole city, the whole county. And Mark, we're going to talk to you about your big role here as you run these uh, meetings with Robert's Rules of Order. <laughs> That's a joke, folks, because we're just having fun here with the meeting. And Robert Rules did come up, but anyway, uh, you're leading this group. Tell us what we're doing, what we just did today, sir. Basically, basically we're radio, TV. Uh, basically, we're just uh, still in the developmental stages, making sure we have all the bylaws, we have all of our policies in place, and that we get everybody on the same page. We try to get. Uh, we try to get. Uh, nominations now and uh, we're just trying to get everyone together to, to really start with the, uh, the developmental stages and to start with uh, as far as, as uh, the planning and uh, the vision that we have here at Pals and to make sure that everything takes place. So that's basically what we're doing today and hopefully we'll continue to do that here for the next many years. Um, that's Any programs, events coming up? Um, we do have, um, I'm not for sure what programs, did, did, did uh, Jesse talk about programs coming up? Um, I can't remember, I was in and out like I am now a little bit, but he told, him, well yeah, we were talking about uh, uh, the summer, uh, of course, and the employment program we're trying to get, and, and things like that for this program. Uh, Mark, I know that you, you've been you've been chairman of this for over a year now or so? Right. right okay. Yep. And of course you, you've got a special program here worked out in the county for folks, for young folks that of course, you do get expelled. Right. You know, kind of working with them a little we're, bit. We're hoping, to, we're hoping to get an expulsion program going here, okay. uh, join with the PALS program. Basically, any kids that are not in school, we want to get them in school. We want to make sure that they have still that opportunity to get an education and not fall so far behind. Uh, because maybe they made a mistake doesn't mean that that should end their 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 uh, academic opportunity. So, because the kids made a mistake, it shouldn't be a permanent 
impact. If they're expelled for a year, they should still be able to get some kind of education and move forward. You don't want to just leave them behind permanently. So we're really looking to make sure that all those kids, kids with long-term suspensions, kids with expulsions, you know, kids that are in the court system, they're still getting an education so they can still move forward. But there might be a family listening that might have knowledge of a situation like that. How would they reach you? Well, what you're going to want to do is you can contact you can contact me directly at, at my office. My my telephone number is 810-341-7643. That'll be my direct line. And you work for Genesee and I work County. for Genesee County with Genesee the family County. court. And what I can do then is, is, if you are having those kind of issues, I can help you with getting into some other programs um, that can help out in the home. Okay. Uh, REACH program is one that comes to mind quite frequently. So I can help you get some of those numbers and get you into those areas as well. Okay. So all is not lost for a child that's no. been suspended, severely no. suspended, or actually the worst, expelled. expelled. We can still work with them, we can get them into a structured them. program. And you can help in that process. Yes, and they can still get an education. 810-341-7643. Okay. And eventually this might be coordinated by the police. police. Right. That's definitely something we've been talking um, and we have ongoing meetings for right now is to is to get that going where we'll have that here at the PALS program mm -hmm. and we'll make sure that every kid has a chance okay. to get an education. Mark, that's a great so, goal. That's it's a great, a great goal. goal. And we trust that somebody listening knows somebody maybe that could benefit from this program. Call Mark. If you can't remember all those numbers, you're in a car or something, call International <laughs> Academy. Ask for Art. You know me. I've been on and off. And then I'll get the referral to Mark. We won't lose that child, be it field, male or female. We won't lose them. And can we put a plug in for the Burton Youth League as well? Let's We're obviously that. Promoting I think something's happening this summer. <laughs> we, we, we still, I've been a part as well of, with the Burton Youth League now for the past eight years. So registration is ongoing at the uh, Burton City Hall uh, for age groups from T-ball all the way up through uh, age 14, 15, softball, both softball and, and baseball. We have very good diamonds, very good facilities, very good coaches. It's a great program, and uh, we just want to get as many kids, just like here at Powell, involved as we can everywhere. And we've signed up two or three more this week, so I think we've probably got 15 or so. I think, uh, the International Academy has been a huge supporter of the Burton Youth League. Obviously, they have a lot of a lot of kids come out there, and it's just great to collaborate with all the great players. Yeah, it's, it's a well-run program, folks. If you can, it's Burton Athletic League. Go to Burton City Hall. If you can't remember all that, call International Academy. They ask for art, and I'll get them there. We'll, we'll, we've got the paperwork. We can do this. Okay. We want them little hot dogs to be playing all the way from can reach five. Any age. Any age. Any age. Okay. I mean, if they're three or four, let's get them in. They can play t-ball. They can play, and then we'll get them rolling. Right. We're, up to really, age. Up to age 15. 15. Okay. Yeah. So you know, we're start. You know, once they start getting into the high school travel leagues, yeah. and you know, so we're going to take everything below that so that we can keep them. And we start in June, so we start after school ends, so we can keep everyone occupied for June and July. Okay. And I'll see you again this summer because I got to watch my kids. You'll so always you be there. there. All right. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you sir. I appreciate your time. Ten minutes. Are ten minutes. Trishelle, are you in the house? Trishelle we're going to call up Trishelle Young. She's going to hopefully join us. Can I put you on the spot? Absolutely. Glad yes, yes, to see you. Good to see you. I gave you that flyer about career night. Can you be our attorney? I can. I, I might. I'll try to make. I that. would love to have you, Trishelle Young, everybody, uh, attorney. Uh, uh, of course, in her legal life, we'll let her talk about that. But she's also on the board here at uh, Police Activities League. Trishelle, you've been on the board for the length of time I have, so maybe a little review of your impression of what we're doing today as well as what we've done in the past to get this organization underway. Go for it. Thank you very much, Art. I really appreciate this opportunity. Sure. PAL is really such a vital part of you know, this community, the Flint history, they've done so much, you know, and connecting the police with our youth is something that we really need to do. There's currently such a disconnect as it relates to the crime. You know, our youth are being treated, you know, in ways that are not necessarily fair, but they need to know how to speak to the police. They need to know how to handle interactions with the police. And the police are not the enemies, you know. So the police are here to help. They're here to assist, to serve, and to protect. You know, and this is a way that the police
please can actually interact with our youth, with our community, and with our citizens to say, hey, we don't just deal with crime. We're here to help. We're here to, to provide services where services are needed. Um, and to mend, you know, the relationships that have been tarnished in certain respects. So this program, Flint Payout, it was brought back to life by Officer Jesse Carpenter. You know, and in, in him doing so, I just really support what he does. And he's able to bring people together, like you, for example. Our, you know, we know the works you do at International, and you know, I see you at sporting events where my kids are playing, and you have no biological kids there, but you're there supporting the youth in this community, and that says a lot about who you are, you know, and, and the service that you provide. And I just really appreciate the effort that you put in, the show that you do. You do this weekly. I mean, you are truly a major part of this community. And you serve on this board, you know, you bring a lot to the table. And we just really appreciate your contribution. But Flint Pal is on the move. You know, we're, we're going to make some changes. We're going to bring some exciting programs around. We're spreading the word. We want the community to step up. We need more mentors. You know, if you have youth that need some place to go to be safe, to be protected, you know, we feed them. We, we uh, take care of them as it relates to their schooling. We provide tutoring. You know, and a safe place for them to be. So, Flint Pal, there's information that can be obtained on them. I just strongly encourage the community to support this program, to come out in the community and do all that you can do. Don't be just a part of complaining about what's wrong with Flint. Be a part of how we make it better. Oh, well stated. Well stated. Thank you. I'm going to ask you, of course, you are an attorney on yes. the North Saginaw office. Folks, if you have a, <laughs> I'll give you a plug, okay? If you have a legal issue of some sort, uh, we have an attorney right next to me. Why don't we offer them your phone number? Is that okay to do? Absolutely. My number is 810-239-6302. My office is located at 2501 North Saginaw Street. I'm in the historic law office of the former C. Frederick Robinson. Uh, so we are there. We do criminal work. We do civil work. Uh, we do employment work. So please feel free to contact us. Phone service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that number is 810-239-6302. You know, I'm not sure I'd I ask you, but what's the best part of being a part of the board here? The best part about serving on this board is seeing the changes that PAL actually has on these children. The youth come in here, you know, some of these youth really, they don't have anywhere to go. You know, their parents are at home. So rather than them either hanging on the streets or going somewhere where they could actually get into some trouble, they're here in a very constructive environment. They're being helped with their homework, with their schooling. They're being taught life skills. Uh, they're allowed to play sports and athletics. So a lot of the things that even the Flint school system is not offering, the kids can get an opportunity to participate here at Flint Path. Oh, well stated. My goodness, you're verbal. <laughs> You ought to look into an attorney, a career or something. <laughs> you are so good. Thank, thank you. you are. Thank you. You betcha. Hope I see you Thursday night. I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll try. I'll have you, girl. Okay. All right. Well, folks, let's see if anybody else. Anybody else want to be on the radio? Hello, Miss Connor. Hello. That, she's shaking her head no. Okay. Polly, come on. Or not Polly. Ellen. Come on, Ellen. How are you? <laughs> Paul, what do we got on time? You got three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So uh, tell them who you are and what you do. Okay. Boom, there you go. Uh, my name is Ellen Dernan, and I'm a retired policy analyst from the state, but I'm active in a lot of different community functions, and so I've climbed on the PAL train, and I'm hoping to be of some great advantage to the group. And you have a special interest in pugilism. I do. I am I'm an amateur boxing judge and I train with a professional boxer five times a week. Okay. And so I box and I'm an amateur judge. Okay. And so I'm going to be instrumental in helping start the new Canusa uh, I'm sorry, the new PAL boxing organization. Um, it used to be there and it's no longer there and we're gonna re resurrect it. So right. 
Yes, thank you. Well, that's great. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to get that in because, you know, a blonde is pretty as you. Sometimes that don't, that, that don't matter. But it sure does with you. Ellen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you. Yes, Have a good morning. Thank you. Okay. She's on her board as well, of course. We've got a variety of loony people over here. I mean, they're very productive in a good way. Paul, what do we got? About a minute? Probably? Uh, two and a half. Two, what? Really? Two and a half minutes. She's fast. Right? She's fast. Okay. Well, I guess. Hi, everybody. International Academy of Flint is our school. And we're at 2020 South Saginaw. And if you are thinking of enrolling in a charter school, we would love to have you do that. Uh, we're open all the time. Uh, just come on by. There's always somebody in the office till 5 o'clock in the evening. And uh, come on by if you'd like to uh, take a tour. I'm in and I'm out, so if you want a tour, you kind of maybe should call a little in advance because I do a lot of community and neighborhood work and such. So please do. Uh, uh, get a 600 5000 number to call. 600-5000. We just had our big Easter egg hunt out for them. had a lot of fun with that. we got career night coming up this Thursday, uh, coming up on the 23rd. We will have oodles and oodles of tour people there in colleges. It's a great time. Bring the families. Do not have to attend International Academy. It's open to the world, so please do come by. We will have a good time. Every 15 minutes, we got a door prize. We're going to give away as well. 605000 if you want to ask us more about that. Anybody who answers the phone can help you, but I'd love to talk to you personally. So please do give us some thought. And um, what do we got after that? Oh, then we're going to have Arts and Crafts Show at our school on May the 9th as well, and all these artsy and craftsy people will come over and you can again go over and buy a host of very creative products. That'll be happy. We'll talk more about that later on. We're about done, I bet, Paul Harry. No, you're not. You got a minute and 20 seconds. Well, a minute and 20 seconds. And uh, oh, the website is change.org. Yeah, we talk them to them. I'll come your way. I'll come your way. Paul's got a website here or something <laughs> on the White yeah, House for June 19th. But guess what, right? The Juneteenth petition site uh, for a day of observance in the United States. Um, is change.org Juneteenth. So if you guys will uh, um, steer your web browsers to change.org and type in Juneteenth, you can get it on the petition and please share it with your friends. We need to get as many. What I've been told is that the Congress is down with it, the Senate is down with it, Obama's the only one who's down with it. So we need to put some pressure. Of all people. Who'd have thunk it, right? Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? I think it's going to be the last thing he does is he walks out the door, you know, okay. but just in case, we need to have those signatures. All right, well, we're about nearing. I bet, Paul, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. What do we got? I got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. There, right, folks, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, aluminum siding today. <laughs> right? All right. Good to have you with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a fast-paced program because we got some great people. And ladies and gentlemen, as you know, if you're walking your dog, looking at a blog, or sitting there saying, duh, you know, Fog, just look at somebody and say, Woo! That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody! Woo!